Since the age of 18 she has owned a number of corgis and dorgies, a cross between a dachshund and a Welsh corgi, with her last dorgi dying in November. According to The Sun the dogs arrived at Windsor Castle after Prince Philip was admitted to hospital last month. Speaking to The Sun an insider said. The Queen is delighted. It's unthinkable that the Queen wouldn't have any corgis. It's like the Tower of London not having any ravens. They have only been there a couple of weeks but are said to be adorable and made the castle their home. Both are said to be bringing in a lot of noise and energy into the castle while Philip is in hospital. The names and gender of the two puppies is not currently known. Princess Elizabeth, the future queen, was given a corgi called Susan in 1944 for her 18th birthday. A keen dog lover she has since owned over 30 dogs. Her final corgi, a direct descendant of Susan, died in April 2018. The new puppies are believed to be the first corgis the Queen has owned that aren't connected to this bloodline. There had been speculation the monarch was unlikely to get any more dogs after the last dorgie died last year. Royal author Penny Juner commented. A few years ago it was decided she would have no more. But her corgis are hugely important to her. They have over the years been closer to her than any human being. The corgis are intensely loyal and loving and they have never let her down.